In this video, we'll show you how to create system recovery media on DVDs. System recovery media allows you to restore the software on your computer back to its original factory condition. This is useful in the event that you're having problems with your computer that you can't solve. Performing a system recovery will solve software-related problems. If a problem persists after performing a system recovery, the computer may need servicing. Toshiba recommends you keep at least one set of recovery media to use in case of an emergency. You can create system recovery DVDs using the Toshiba Recovery Media Creator Utility. You can also create system recovery media using USB memory. This is discussed in another video. You may have heard of system recovery media referred to as recovery DVDs, recovery disks, or restore disks, or you may have heard of the process referred to as restoring to factory settings. Don't confuse system recovery with system restore. They're separate processes, and this video is only about system recovery. During system recovery, you lose all data and programs that are not pre-installed at the factory. This includes applications you installed yourself, photos, documents, and anything else that was added to the computer. Don't worry, your data is only lost when you perform the system recovery. In this video, we'll be showing you how to create system recovery media in case you need them in the future. Simply creating system recovery media will not cause you to lose any data. Now, let's create system recovery media for your computer. To open the Toshiba Recovery Media Creator, start typing Recovery Media Creator at the start screen. Select Recovery Media Creator from the options presented to you. Toshiba Recovery Media Creator or something similar may be listed instead. Select Yes when the dialog box appears. Selecting No will exit the program. Toshiba Recovery Media Creator will open. Under Media Selection, System Recovery Media should be checked by default. If it isn't checked, place a check mark in the box. Media Set allows you to select the type of media you prefer. For this procedure, we'll be using 4.7 GB DVDs. Note that I'm opening the drop down list to show the options, but I'm not making a change. The Information box indicates the type of disks and how many of them are needed to create recovery media based on your selections. Based on this particular system and DVD size, I need to have three blank DVDs ready to create system recovery media. The number of disks needed for your system may be different. Recordable DVDs other than DVD-RAM can be used to create system recovery media. Ensure the Verify box on the lower left is checked, which it should be by default. This option will ensure the disks are in good working order when completed. Select Create near the bottom right to start. You'll be prompted to place a blank DVD into your drive. Insert the first DVD and select the OK button on the prompt that looks like this. Selecting Cancel will stop the process. Windows may display a toast notification that looks like this when you insert the blank disk. If you see it, you may simply ignore it. It'll disappear after a few seconds. The status will indicate recording while the recovery DVDs are being created. Under Information, you see the number of the DVD currently being created. The current media bar displays the recording progress of the currently inserted DVD. Total progress displays the progress of the recovery media creation process as a whole. After the recording of each DVD is complete, the DVD will be verified, and verifying will be displayed under status and information. Because the disk recording had been finished, Windows may consider the disk as a disk that was just inserted in the computer and may display a toast notification that looks like this. If you see it, you may simply ignore it. After recording and verifying is complete, the DVD will be ejected. It's important to label and number each DVD as it's written, as it's critical they're inserted in the requested order by the computer when performing a system recovery. Insert additional DVDs as the recovery media creator requests them. Once inserted, click OK. Remember that you may continue to see toast notifications. Again, simply ignore them if they appear. After the last DVD is recorded and verified, system recovery media creation will be completed and the last DVD will be ejected. You now have a complete set of recovery media on DVDs to use if you need to recover your computer to factory default conditions. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com. 